name is Amanda Sobe. I have had lymphedema for 20 years plus now and counting. I have been diagnosed as primary and secondary by different vascular specialists uh, worldwide. So my story is a little bit unique, but I recognize that it's not how I was diagnosed or how I received the condition. All that truly really did matter was how I managed it afterwards. And this is the driving force behind doing a World Lymphedema Celebration for the entire month of March to inspire those around the world, to create awareness, to get education, not only to our patients, but to our medical staff and to our therapists. Because what I've found, and I'm sure Sharon realizes this too, is that so many people just don't know what to do when they have this condition known as lymphedema. True. Intro. So I'm going to pass off to Sharon. How did you get into this whole community of the lymphatic world? Um, actually, Expand Socks originated as a product for the fashion world. I come out of the fashion industry and um, I literally was led to the lymphedema world when I received a phone call from lymphedema products and they were ordering our product. So I had many years in fashion and basically got in touch with lipedema products. They shared with me what lipedema was, invited me to a conference in St. Louis, to the FDRS conference. And I basically went to this conference not knowing anything. I, you know, of course I Googled lipedema and then I saw lymphedema, but I really didn't know what it was. And we set up a booth and I had my product and I literally had people sitting at my table, putting on our socks, crying because they hadn't been able to wear socks in so many years, which was something that um, was new for me. I had never experienced anything like that. So it was a very humbling experience to say the least, but it, I really dove right into the patient population Across the aisle from me was Amy Riviera. <laughs> and um, she gave me a really good education very quickly. And <laughs> at the end of the conference, I thought her leg was a prop. I didn't really realize it was her real leg. And, you know, so that's really being very upfront and honest with all of you. I was like everybody else, you know, most people in the population, they don't know what lymphedema is or lipedema. So it's been a six year process for me of being educated by all of you, the patient community, because I'm only as good as the information you all share with me. And when people started to purchase expanded socks and wear expanded socks, I was always on the phone asking them like, what does it do for you? How is it helping you? What does it do? And, you know, I learned as I went along. And not realizing, I thought expanded socks was for the plus size market for people who maybe had athletic calves or people who just wore wide calf boots. But um, I really believe it was like divine intervention that I was led into this world because it's really, at the end of the day, it's a really great feeling when you feel like you're really reaching out and helping people. Well, we are so glad that you did. I think you started off with maybe like one style of sock shared, and now you have a couple different varieties of socks. Can you talk about these products, about kind of just the differences between your expanded socks that people can look for? Right. So um, really even to back it up a little, one of the first questions we were asked about expanded socks was whether they have gradient compression, of course. I didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea if they had gradient compression or not. And this seemed to be a question that a lot of people were asking us. So we had them tested in the United States to make sure that we, if we made any type of claim that it was 100% true and accurate, because unfortunately in the compression sock world, you will see a lot of socks that claim to be compression and they're quite inexpensive but actually they're socks that are made on small cylinders because socks are made, they're knit on circular cylinders. And what these are, are just tight socks. They're not gradient compression. So I really okay. always want to make it my mission to let people know to be careful of that because you really need the gradient compression. 
So expanded socks, once we found out that they offer gradient compression, the patient population really told us the benefits of expanded socks. And we, you know, remember we started out as a fashion product <laughs> for the plus size market. So we discovered that we were one of the only fashionable companies. We were one of the only fashionable products out there for people who have any type of edemas or any reason that their leg may be large. I mean, we are very active within the lymphedema community and the wound care community, but also in the adaptive clothing market and with geriatrics, you know, with people who need or in wheelchairs or people in assisted living because expanded socks are easy to put on and they, you know, they slip on easily. I could, yeah, you could do the demonstration. They slip I was going to say, I feel, I feel like putting one over my head just to show the, the stretch that they have. I originally did for the stretch on my son-in-law's head and like I do have a picture, I can't embarrass him by showing it, <laughs> but they do fit on the head as well. So um, if you're in Canada, it could be a toque, you know, it, it always works. <laughs> with our yeah. cold weather really it could be like a stocking cap but um <laughs> and then i learned how lymphedema affects men as well so basically we have 32 different styles all the styles that have the solid panel in the back do offer the gradient compression and the compression values change as the sock is stretched good, so good answer each product, a lot of times people don't understand the product because it's not like your traditional um, gradient compression sock. Right. Our no, it's, that are, it's... Right, the sport styles that have the open mesh in the back and the lace back do not offer any compression. So we make sure that's clear so people know those styles do not have compression. Ooh. The panel in the back is mm -hmm. open. So Sorry. And in all of our, on our website, every place, it's basically spelled out that these do not have compression. So um, basically once we understood what expanded socks was, then my feeling was, and as I reached out to advocates and started to speak to Alexa Ercolano, as everybody started to educate me, I realized that a lot of doctors didn't recognize lymphedema. And I'm thinking, who am I to really say anything to people, you know, and say they have lymphedema. But I started to learn that a lot of people are misdiagnosed. And it's not just here in the United States or Canada, but it's throughout the whole world. So part of my goal with building out our website was to really establish the fact that lymphedema doesn't recognize geographic borders. And it's a worldwide problem. And then I met Brittany Williams and I learned about children with lymphedema and I've learned, you know, men have lymphedema and we've been very blessed to be able to um, sell expanded socks in quite a few countries in the world. And it's something that makes people feel good. It's pretty, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have such a medical look to it. And really the functionality, yes, it has great compression, but we've learned the true functionality is that it keeps wraps and bandages secure. It keeps them clean. It keeps them discreet because a lot of people, once their legs are wrapped and you know they have their bandages on, they don't want everybody to see the bandage. So they're covered up. Oh, very nice. Yay. <laughs> they look nice on you. Thank you. I matched them with my t-shirt. I thought I did good. Uh, it's looking good. <laughs> So, you know, and we found out for people who exercise, for instance, you know, if you have on tennis shoes, you have on sneakers, sometimes the bandages um, separate in the back of the heel because your shoe is rubbing against it. Well, expand a soft stops that. And the beauty of it is your bandages and wraps stay clean because you could garden, you could do whatever and your expanded socks get dirty and you could just throw them in the wash, their machine wash, tumble dry low and you keep your bandages clean you keep them you could really prolong the life of your bandages and if you wear leg wraps they hold the wraps in place so the velcro doesn't separate and catch on your blankets or catch on your couch or collect pet hair which i've heard a lot of people complain about with the velcro or you know lint so expand socks again gives you the um it prolongs the life of your wraps as well 
Well, and I find too, Sharon, that when people do wear bandages, at least when I was first diagnosed and I was taught and told how to bandage, and I think the bandaging market has changed since <laughs> 2000. But nonetheless, they look like bandages. You either look like a zombie or you look like, sorry to say, but you look like you've come from the hospital and a lot of people aren't compliant because you don't look the same as the rest of the general public. And oh. I have, thankfully, you've been so kind. Again, look at all the different varieties and all the different colors and all the different styles. You can literally just don these over top of your bandages and now you blend in. You're not only fashionable, but you also don't stand out like maybe somebody else would. I was always super embarrassed when somebody asked what was wrong with my leg, but now you've created a product that kind of helps me be fashionable, but I don't have to be standing out and have to explain what's wrong with me because I have something that is an everyday use item. And like you said, to the bandages, I think to wear them, the nice thing is that they, they do help to reduce the size but again, after a while, it just, it's annoying when they keep on falling down. So you've really created a beautiful product to give you the stretch, to give you the support, but you look great while doing it. Well, thank you. And the other thing too is, you know, our product, we do not make medical claims saying it's medical grade compression. And a lot of folks, you know, I know you have medical grade compression that you wear. It's very, very expensive. Again, expander socks could protect your medical grade compression because you can put the expander socks over it. And again, your expander socks get dirty, but your very expensive compression garment doesn't. So it's really about making life a little bit easier because in the lymphedema community, as I've learned, it's not that easy. It's a, you know, with the bandages and air drying the bandages and rolling the bandages, it's a lot of work. So oh, for sure. I think expand socks, is it something you have to have? No, you don't have to have it. But does it make your life a little bit easier? It does. And it makes you feel good. And I think we all want to feel good. It's just, you know, life is difficult enough. If there's something absolutely a bit easier. And we've really tried to keep our prices in line. You know, we haven't raised prices in the six years. And um uh, you know, I understand how um, expensive it is to have lymphedema, you know, here in the US, we all know uh, the healthcare system we have here. And, you know, so we try to keep everything where it's affordable. And what we've learned is people will buy one pair of expanded stuff just to give it a shot. And then we see like our repeat business is so great because nobody owns just one pair of socks in their- well and, can, well, and can I interrupt though? So like the thing that I dislike about wearing medical grade compression or medical, just medical supplies is that they're so medical. This is providing a medically purposeful function, but it actually feels normal. You know, like it actually feels good. Like I, when I reach for a pair of expanded socks, I don't think like, uh, compression. I think, oh, socks, <laughs> like it just, it works so well. And we really, um, you know, we've tried very hard to maintain the integrity of this product because my philosophy is, you know, I think of myself, if I'm buying something, I want to buy a good quality product. You know, there's a lot of, um, lesser quality products out there on the market. And um, one woman within the lymphedema community said to me, she said, well, you know, I don't have to buy them all the time because they last. She was like, make yeah. them a little cheaper so people have to keep buying them. But you know, that's <laughs> not what I to you know, it's, it's just, it's nice to have something that's pretty that makes you feel good and has like a really an amazing functionality to it. And it's funny because we have lymphedema patients and then some of them, their daughters are pregnant and their daughters experience smelling on their legs. So they end up coming in and buying expanded socks for their daughters, or, you know, maybe they have a mom that has an issue with her legs or somebody, you know, who's traveling. So I think the incredible thing about expanded socks, we're so focused on lymphedema and wound care and lymphedema, but, you know, they serve so many different communities as well. It's like to switch up, like I think so many of us especially for me, I completely lost my femininity in a sense. Like I lost that sense of just feeling good. And with the status, like I said, we were talking about styles before, like you have, 
your like your 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 standard just opaque back that you know is very traditional that's like the one that I think you can say provides the most compression out of them all right mm -hmm. yeah but then you have the athletic sock that I was wearing on over my bandages um these ones have kind of the mesh back and I'm gonna have to go get the lacy back ones but again this one has the mesh back again for your athletic outfits and then obviously the the lace back ones you, I've seen them advertised I know Joy Louise she looks fabulous in them I, I almost don't purchase them because she makes them look so good <laughs> right okay. but again awesome. these she looks awesome um yeah. but yeah like it, it's just it's so feminine and it's just something super complimentary to be able to to put something on especially when when my leg went really blew up at the worst point in time wearing even just normal shoes was out of the question so this has really brought some femininity and just some womanness back to me but again i am a female you do also cater to the male market as well too so it's not that it has to be just a one size fits all. Right. And a lot of men wear our knee highs as well because there is spandex in our product. So there is a lot of stretch. And, you know, yes, there's certain patterns that are definitely very feminine, but there are patterns also in solid colors that men wear. And, you know, they're happy to have something, again, it's fashionable that looks really handsome and nice on them. And like our goal truthfully was to bring in thigh highs and you know other products into our product line. Once the pandemic hit, we sort of had to like step back a little bit, wait and see what happens. Now I'm looking at what's going on in the world, saying like, okay, are we waiting again? What are we doing? But you know, your feedback, the patient community feedback, I really do listen to. And I'm always open to emails because you know better than I do. Like I know how to make the product, but I'm always open to ways that we can improve our product or how we can help the community in a better way because we're still learning, you know, and I think in life, hopefully every day you're learning, <laughs> you know, we need to be. And it's so encouraging to hear pro like companies that are willing to listen to the patients and willing to to always learn more because I think as you have a product, you started with a vision, but you always constantly evolve. And I think just as we learn more about lymphedema, lipedema, obesity, whatever you want to call it, the product is always going to change. Um, so, you know, I just am super grateful that you do answer all of your emails and you're always, you like every time that I've met you, Sharon, you've always just been so open and just wanting to learn and to provide a product that is catered for every single person and i think that's very endearing because you don't find companies nowadays that have that element and so i think that's probably also another reason why expand a sock does very very well well thank you thank you you know um uh, really this was an answer to a prayer and i feel like i serve a community so in order to serve a community you need to hear and listen to what the community needs and you know, this is my heart. This is where I am. My daughter's an occupational therapist, uh, but okay. she's a pediatric occupational therapist. And one day, Jessica, you know, I wanted her to come into business with me before I expanded socks. And she's like, mom, I don't want to be in fashion. I want to help people in life. And then I start to like sort of feel bad and say, why does God have me in the sock business? And I live in an area of New Jersey where everybody works on Wall Street. And whenever I tell people <laughs> I'm in the sock business, they thought I was in the stock business. So this was like a lot. <laughs> so I was very fortunate <laughs> when uh, Expand Socks, my invention became a product that really does help people because, you know, that's where we need to be. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We do have some questions that have come in and I think now is a good time to answer a couple of them. You did mention about um, your compression. They were tested for compression. Do you know approximately for the ones that do offer compression? Do you know what the compression level are on on these for the milli millimeters per mercury? Yes, what I advise people to do because we have three levels of compression. And so our compression levels change according to the circumference of your leg. On yeah. our website, you really need to measure your leg you know, the top of your calf and then refer back to our chart. So we go from light compression up to moderate. So we go from eight to 15 up to 20 to 30. And 20 okay. to 30 is considered medical grade. We don't make those claims because if somebody measures their leg incorrectly, 
we don't want, you know, we don't want there to be a problem for someone. You know, Definitely. But you can yeah. go onto our website. It's every place. We put this chart everywhere to make it easy and accessible to the patient community because it's not your traditional sock. So it's like right. to learn how this sock really does work. 100%. And so your website is expandasocks.com. There's going to yeah. be a, a, a it's going to be in the chat below. You can also find it on the webpage. You can find it everywhere on my social media if you're looking yeah. for it. But if people wanted to purchase your product, um, if they were anywhere in the world, what is the best way for them to access Expand Socks? Well, I mean, people in the US, Canada, obviously, I hate to say, but yes, you could buy it on Amazon. But you also could buy it on lymphedemaproducts.com, Bandages Plus, Silvert, which is up in Canada, Support Plus, um, Bandages Plus, Compression Guru, ACOLS. Uh, we're really, the product is in a lot of different places. But you could also, like I said, buy it on Amazon. So while you're buying your laundry detergent, you could buy your expanded socks, you know. And, and a lot of people are happy that they're able to do that. You know, and it's Amazon Prime. Not that Amazon ships the next day the way they used to, but it is Amazon Prime. And the ones, the style that carry the compression with the solid backing, what would be the name of these, Sharon? You would just look at the basics. Really, everything has a compression except the sport socks and the lace back. So everything has compression except the sports socks and the lace backs. I hope that you got that. Um, we also had a question come in. If the expanded socks, do they roll down when wearing them? No, mine do not. I've been standing here. I've been bouncing around. I use mine over top of my bandages. Um, I am tiny in the calf. Uh, so I'm tiny in my ankle, but I'm still full in my calf. And I've been wearing them. I've been bouncing around. I've been doing... Well, I was jogging before the webinar, um, but again, they don't fall down. They stay up nice and tight. They're firm. They're good. So Sharon, if you're looking, sorry, not Sharon, you're Sharon, Shannon. Shannon asked the question. And um, if you wanted to know if they were to slip down, mine do not. But I just really do want to address it because sometimes people on Amazon will write that they slip down, but they don't have a larger calf. So sometimes people, like friends of mine, they're like, oh, you know, you make socks. <laughs> I want some of your socks. And then they'll say it slips down, but the circumference of their leg is 13 inches. Right. You know, this is made larger. We knit it larger so that when it goes on a larger leg, it fits and it's knit larger. And especially with the special panel we developed in the back, be able to what we learned to cover the wraps and bandages and hold everything securely in place. So what I'm hearing is, is that if you want to make sure that they fit, Sharon said that all the sizing charts are on the website, they're on Amazon. So always just double check your size because like she said, with the compression gradient, you know, every calf is going to be a different size. And because this product is meant to stretch, if you have a 18 inch calf, the compression level is going to be a lot tighter than let's say a 16 inch calf, because again, the calf is smaller, but they're meant for a 16 inch calf. So again, go to the website, go to Amazon, check out the sizing charts and see what works for you. When you fall in love with these products, when you try them on, like I said, it's so nice because they do feel like something normal. They're not like a medical grade product that we're so custom to wearing and again try them on for yourself like they are a beautiful product nonetheless right and you know I think like a lot of therapists a lot of um, doctors it's taken them time to really understand that there could be a product like this in the market because it's a one-of-a-kind type of product there's nothing else out there like this you know, there are socks that stretch, but nothing that has a panel in the back that offers the gradient compression the way that expanded socks do. And if I may add, um, for any therapist, we do send out sample packs to therapists with mm -hmm. um, informational postcards that have the compression charts on it, which you could give out to your patients. And um, it'll give them also a list of retailers that sell expand the socks as well perfect that's awesome that's awesome did we cover everything Sharon was there anything else that you wanted to talk about 
I think it's really just, you know, the feeling that I have with, um, you know, being sort of, well, fairly new in the lymphedema community. I think the population just like women and men need to always fight for their rights and, you know, let their voices be heard and not let people say that their conditions aren't real. And I think, you know, I've just seen over the past six years with working with so many advocates, such a total change in this community from the way it was six years ago to now where, you know, people like Amanda, Amy Riviera, like all these people who are out there now educating the patient population. And I just find it like absolutely amazing how strong we've all become. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. There, I got to stand behind it. There you go. Yeah. The expanded stuff. And just again, thank you so very much for creating a product that makes us feel normal. Um, I think the worst part for me was three quarters of my body is normal. A quarter of it is literally abnormal. And I was very embarrassed, very ashamed, very frustrated because there was no information everywhere that I turned. I tried to adopt to a doctor and they just turned me away. They thought it was all in my head. I was crazy. You know, my family couldn't relate to me because they never had a chronic illness. My friends clearly, well, we were 20 years old. So when you're 20, you kind of. You're not really in the right frame of mind at that point in time anyways. But again, I just really appreciate creating a product that is just so versatile and just so simple to think that I can feel a little bit more normal even when I have to do my daily care and my habits to take care of my condition. Well, I'm so glad. And you know, it's really, I think it's the simplest inventions that are the best inventions because they really satisfy and help. You know, they satisfy- 100% have and you know expand us off it's not complicated it's really rather simple but it works so it's a good thing that it works the way it does before we go out or before we close off does anybody have any questions for Sharon Sharon while she is giving us and devoting her time and volunteering just everything for this event do you guys have any questions um before we head out because if not how do you okay. wash them machine wash tumble dry low there you go. Always oh, everyone wants it. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, Sharon, yeah. thank you so very much for yeah. being my very first event for my World Lymphedema <laughs> all month long celebration. I am so excited to have had you here. I look forward to all the many more things that we get to accomplish as we support the lymphedema community and we just create awareness. We keep making people feel good because that's what it's all about. Thank Absolutely. you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do. And thank you for giving to our community. Um, we do appreciate you and uh, we will see you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm so glad my dog isn't barking in the background. <laughs> he's very quiet. Normally every time that we talk, he's always squawking. So <laughs> thank you. We appreciate that too. Thank you so much for you guys. Sorry. I say that wish everybody a good evening and have a great night. Thank you so very much, everybody, for joining this event. I hope to see you on Friday for the Prairie Wear event that I'm hosting. So that'll be another informative day. It'll be lots of fun, lots of questions to be had. Um, but other than that, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. We will let you go home and go to bed now and enjoy the rest of the evening. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and um, Sharon's also very accessible to find. You can find her at expandasocks.com. That's X P A N D A S O X. Okay. So if you're having any difficulties, please send me a message. I appreciate you, Sharon. Have a wonderful evening and thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey. Bye. Bye bye, you guys. Thanks so much.